Hi guys, I hope you are well and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to show you what I got in Lidl today. I've not done a weekly food shopping haul in quite a wee while and do you know, I actually have to say, I feel extremely guilty. See, whenever I get one and I'm putting everything out on the counter and then I don't film it and show you what I got this week, I actually feel really bad. I'm like, oh, I could have filmed a video about that. I feel like I'm keeping it to myself, like some little secret. So here it is, we're going to show the shopping. This is all actually part of a sort of ingredients shopping meal plan list for slow cooker meals that I'm going to be doing this week. Exciting. We're now finally into autumn, we can bring the slow cooker back out. Yeah, we need to get the slow cooker out. I'm desperate to have some nice, hearty, warm meals. Maggie. 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 Can you stop trying to go your motorbike, please? Thanks. Yeah, anyway, so let's get to it. I hope you enjoy seeing what I got today. I actually spent quite a lot of money to be honest, but I got bigger things as well, so I can kind of see why. Now this will hopefully, hopefully last us as a family, I would say probably around 10 days. A lot of the stuff I'll have for a longer time, of course, but a lot of the actual meals, like the meat and everything, when I slow cooker that, I can probably then put it into bags and then freeze it and so I've batch cooked. So that is the plan. Anyway, stay tuned for that video because it's coming really soon. I'm going to do dump bags. We'll just call them grab bags. That's the worst word in ever, whoever invented the word in slow cooker dump bag. Because it sounds like the most unappetising thing ever. Let's get to it. I really hope you enjoy watching. And if you're new to my channel, it's lovely to see you. My name's Ash. Please hit subscribe. It really helps me out. And give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Let's go. Okie dokie then. Now this is everything that I got. My lovely husband has actually laid it all out on here. Not really as I would do for us. Like... Needs improvement. There's layering up going on here. It's going to prove difficult. But here is everything that I got. This was all from Lidl today. And not included in this kind of pile up here is bottles of water. I've actually got one of them over here. And also a big massive pack of Iron Brew, like Diet Iron Brew or Iron Brew Extra I got. And also kitchen roll. So there was other things I did get that I've not managed to show you here but here is what I got. Now I always start over at the veggie stuff but let me start at the meat first because I feel like this makes more sense when I start here. Now I'm going to be making five meals this week so if you want to see them I'll give you a kind of you know explanation of what's going on. So I'm going to be making my honey and chilli chicken. It's a Chinese style recipe. Stay tuned for that. So I got these chicken breast fillets. It was actually cheaper for me to get two packs like this than what it was to get the family pack. Because the family pack's actually gone up in price. It's now like eight or nine pounds. And it used to be seven, seven fifty nine, I think. So I got two packs of chicken, one for making like a kind of shredded chicken and one for making honey chili chicken. And then over here, I've got bacon. This is mostly for like breakfast and lunchy, brunchy type ideas um, for just like bacon and eggs and avocado. And then I also got these gluten-free outdoor bread British pork sausages. They are 95% pork and they are 10 in a packet. And I'm going to make a nice sausage casserole. I love a sausage casserole out of the slow cooker. So it's just such a nice one for me to go to. And it is a meal the kids will definitely eat because it's so tasty. It's got loads of veg in it and they always love it. That kind of like sausages and gravy and potatoes type effort so that will definitely serve as well and the fact that I'm going to be making all 10 of these I could definitely freeze it and then have it another night so hopefully if I make all of these at once then I'll be able to make another full family meal out of the same recipe dump bag that is the goal now over here I've got a gammon joint now I think I've made gammon probably about three times in my life I'm not joking I've not really been someone who makes ham a whole lot but every time I have ham, especially ham in the slow cooker, it is divine. And my friends recently made ham in the slow cooker with a bottle of full fat cola, which I've got over here. And it was amazing. So I'm going to try and do a little recipe that I had found on BBC Good Food. And hopefully if that's on soon, then I'll be able to link it for you. I'm really looking forward to showing you that actually because ham is so underrated. It's amazing. And then I've also got two packs of lean beef steak mince and now I'm going to make a bolognese. In fact, did I get two? No, I've only got one because it's a big one. Yeah, 750 grams. So I'm going to split this, make half of it as chilli and half of it as bolognese. So that will just be a nice kind of ragu that I can do in the slow cooker. And yeah, I can split this into two because it's quite a big pack. This is the 5% meat, so it's not got a lot of fat in it and I much, much prefer that. And then over here, I'm actually planning on making, you know, the kind of Swedish style 
meatballs where it's kind of like a white sauce. That is the plan for these meatballs. And I've got 24 meatballs there. The kids usually have about three of these, which is actually quite a lot when you look at it. They have about three um, of these. And then, you know, we can either split the pack or just keep some for another date so we can batch cook a bit. And then I also got some lightly salted tortilla chips purely because I want to have them with my chilli. I love putting some of these down and then just layering the chilli on top and not even having that much rice. Um, but yeah, I do love having these and they're so cheap. They're honestly about 30 or 40 pence for a pack. So cheap. And guys, I have to say, this is like one of my most amazing revelations in Lidl. I am so fussy when it comes to packs of ham. I'm always a Marks and Spencer's ham person. Like I always go specifically to get that ham. But this is actually just as good. It was actually someone who follows me on Instagram that said to me, please just go and try the little honey roast ham. And you know what? You're right. It's just as good. And it's so much cheaper. So I love this. It's so much. And Ella loves it in her sandwiches for school lunches. She gets a packed lunch at the moment. And I also got these, which are a bit more kind of thicker slice. But I do like having a slice of this with my eggs, if I'm having scrambled eggs. So this is the honey mustard smoked ham. Really gorgeous. So I love both of these packs. And forever and ever, amen, we have been buying these. These are the chicken tikka breast slices and they are lovely, really, really nice. Fraser takes them to work always. And then these are not from Lidl, but I'll just show you them just now. These little spices, I actually love the jars. They're great. I just got bottles of water because I like to keep these in my boot always. Like literally every morning when I go to take Ella to school, I grab a bottle of water and I drink it on the way down just so that I've definitely had like 750 ml before I've started my day. It's just the best way to start. And then I've also got these cheese curls for snack. Ella loves to have a wee packet of crisps in her snack bag so that's what I give for her. I also got some cheese because you can never go wrong with a bit of cheese especially if we're doing even like nachos or if it's for sandwiches like cheesy pasta, macaroni, whatever. The kids love a bit of cheese so easy to have in. And then of course my microwavable rices. These are just good for being lazy. See if I've made like a slow cooker meal and it's at the point of the day where we're just running back in and I don't want to be putting on a pot of rice. I want two minutes until dinner's ready. That is what I grab and it's so quick and easy. And then I've also got this pasta. This is actually a lovely packet. The feeling of the packet, bizarre but true. Um, I wanted to facility and I never had any in the normal little ones. I had to buy this pack. Don't really know what's more special about it. Just in a different packet. I've been going through so much fruit recently. It's crazy but... I like getting this mixed bag so we've got a selection because it's just like the thing when I buy Just Green and they want the red ones and I'm like, come on guys. Um, yeah, table salt, they never had a salt grinder and we needed salt so I grabbed this one. Oh my God, which is open. Fun times I go, salty grapes. God, this is like one of those TikTok experiments without even meaning it. God almighty. Kinder chocolate bars, always good to have a wee pack of them in the car for bravery purposes. Um, and I've also got some milk chocolate butter biscuits because these are the best. I love these so much. They're such a good biscuit. I've got 15 free range eggs. So these are mixed sizes. Um, we actually got local eggs a couple of weeks ago and they were amazing. And I need to remember to try and get the details of the farm so that we can just get them delivered to the house. Because we go through so many eggs all the time. And I've got mashed potato because I thought even if we do our Swedish meatballs, it might be nice to have it with mash. Even the sausage casserole, lovely with mash. Really like that. Casserole is quite good because you can pretty much just put everything into the one dish. But kids love mashed potato and honestly I feel like you could give Ella and Charlie anything so long as it is just been completely immersed in mashed potato. They'll eat it. So I'll do anything, you try anything, won't you? And then next up, I've got these for an after school treat. These are chocolate and hazelnut crepes. She can't have these in her lunch bag because they have hazelnut in them, which means obviously if there's any nut allergies at school, then we don't want to be taking them in because that's just so dangerous. And then bread wise, I've got Warburton thins, or well, they're kind of equivalent. This is the Brown Hill Brown Sandwich thins. These are great. So you just them with a fried egg. Oh, such a good go-to. Got mini wraps for Ella's lunch bag. And then Charlie likes to have a wee wrap when he's at home for lunch as well. So I've got just a couple of packs of these, eight mini wraps. And then I've got large ones because I'm probably going to make slow cooker fajitas at some point. So these will be handy to have in for then. And then I've been picking this up at the moment. It's the Hovis Best of Both, medium 
bread and everyone loves it so I've just been getting that when I can. It's very, very soft and makes amazing toast. Prawn crackers because you can just never have too many prawn crackers. Our easy go-to meal for the family is just like an easy curry and I'm making a curry in this situation with the chicken so I'm going to keep these here for when I make that. I also got more crispies. I got oven baked walkers. I love these so much. If I'm having like I don't know, like a tuna toast or something. I always put a couple of these in the plate. Um, and I like the sea salt ones. It's very, very plain, but they're gorgeous. And then nut-wise, again, Ella can't take these into school, but she does like nuts for a snack after she's done. So we've got peanuts. These are the honey roasted ones. And we've also got roasted and salted cashews. Um, just a couple of them, you know, when she comes back in is quite ideal and Charlie loves peanuts too. I've got tuna, we have lots of tuna. We have tuna pasta, tuna sandwiches, tuna baked potatoes. So it's great to have lots of tuna in. And I've also got red kidney beans for doing my chili. I got mushy peas because they're just handy to have, aren't they? Especially if we're having our casserole. Maybe nice put some mushy peas instead of the mash. And I got some tropical granola. I've actually not had granola in the house for a while and I do love it. So I think I'm going to try having a wee bit of granola in the morning with my yoghurt and then again another kind of like school and nursery snack mini cheese bakes or just mini cheddars these are really handy and the kids love eating these and then we're kind of on to like the veg and the condiments now I had to get Worcester sauce because we ran out and the bats one's really good I don't think there's any difference between all of these things I just buy anything I also got some sriracha mayo they don't have the other one I can't remember the name of it, but it comes with a green lid, like a little nozzle. This is the only one that they had, but we love this with scrambled egg and avocado on toast. I've got peanut butter because the kids go through this like it's going out of fashion. I've got my honey for making my honey chicken and obviously various other things like if we are having pancakes, sometimes the kids like honey on it. And then I had to get this because the coffee I usually get was about £6 in Lidl today and I normally find that for brand stuff they're cheaper but Home Bargains and B&M have the coffee I usually get cheaper but I can't go a day without it because this stuff's just, it's a miracle worker isn't it? My whole mood changes in the morning when I have a coffee so if I don't have it then I could maybe be unpredictable, I don't know. So had to get some of this Colombian freeze dried instant coffee. Um, my coffee machine's broken at the moment and has been for quite a while now. So hopefully if I can get that fixed soon then I can be off of this and back on my coffees. And I'm almost certain I've got a full cupboard of these but tinned tomatoes, just easy. The last time I had bought plum tomatoes instead of chopped tomatoes and I got lots and lots of comments on my video to say that actually these are better for you and better for cooking than chopped tomatoes because chopped tomatoes sometimes they just give you all the ends of the tomatoes and really the actual you know best taste is in the middle of the plum tomatoes so I've kind of just forever bought the plum ones since because when you start making them into a sauce anyway they break down when you kind of mash them with the spoon or whatever you're using so yeah got plumbed tomatoes i also got some maple which i needed for one of my recipes i think this is for my ham and the mustard was also for the ham some sour cream which is for my white sauce for our lovely meatballs that we're making and then i got some scottish double cream which is for God knows, I think that's for my curry. That is for my curry, actually. That many recipes, I'm trying to remember everything. And then I got some garlic mayonnaise because it's just handy to have this and see even if we're having this as like a dip for things. It's just, it's nice to have as a little treat at the weekend. And then I got light mayonnaise for making up our tuna mayo. I would normally get Hellman's or Heinz mayonnaise, but they only had the bats one in today. But anyway, it's good enough. And I got the skier yogurt fat-free stuff. These are great, they're only a pound and they're really, really high in protein if you're trying to be good with your diet. I got some Spanish extra virgin olive oil. And then these were down in price, these little squeezy fromage trays. I got one of each flavour, they were down to a pound. And then I got a full iceberg lettuce because I just like having a full lettuce in. I used to buy the bags but they just don't last as long. And I never go on dates, I always just go on how things look, smell and you know taste I never really go on dates but the bags just don't last as long for me I also got some carrots great thing to have in we have carrots with a lot of stuff especially in our bowl of maize and then I've also got tender stem broccoli it's another kind of accompaniment type of veg that we've got for if we're having our 
stew avocado. We have absolutely been milling avocados because we love them so much. So we've been having some of them. And then I also got some ginger, which is for, again, another recipe. So just keep that over here. And I got some stock cubes. I actually just bought the little own ones because I wanted to see how they tasted, if they were any different from, you know, the oxo ones. So I've got chicken, ham and beef. And I think if you're going to do slow cooker stuff, you need to have plenty of these in because they definitely add so much flavour and saltiness to your food. These are great. So if you want to add a wee bit of celery to like your bolognese or whatever you're making, the little small celery sticks I think are so much easier to manage and they're just already cut for you and you can just easily chop them. I think these are great for little additions. And then we've got some baby plum tomatoes. I want to get Ella and Charlie to try some kiwi fruit so I've bought some kiwis. I also got chestnut mushrooms because they're my favourite type. I think they are so full of flavour and I think they just totally transform a dish and I love these through my bolognese. So I've got some of them. I also got white and red onion. Just easy to have. I might actually pre-chop that and keep it in the freezer because it's so much easier when it's already diced. And then I've got some mixed peppers which will be good for various things. It'll be good for my bolognese. It'll be, it'll be good for my chilli. I've also got some spring onion. We use spring onions in loads of things. i also got one sweet potato. Um, the actual packets of sweet potatoes in Lidl and Aldi is always like the little skinny ones, but if you buy them individually, they are huge. And so much easier because it's one thing to peel and not like several little skinny ones. And then I've got some shallots because I absolutely love the flavour of shallots. I think they're amazing, especially with steaks and any kind of beef type of meal. Love a shallot, so I got them, they were an offer. And I also got some cucumber because I want to try the kids with cucumber again. They're so fussy with it, but I really, really want them to like it because I didn't like it as a child. And it was always that one thing that I got jealous that I never liked it. <laughs> so I want to just try and, you know, morph their taste buds to like cucumber. And I think that is everything that I got. This all came to about £100. And I don't actually think it looks like I got a lot for my money. But I really did because, as I say, I already got, you know, a £7 pack of juice. I got bottles of water. I got kitchen roll. Yeah, I think I did not bad. And I'm really pleased with everything that I got. I'm going to go and pop all this away. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching and see what I got. And hopefully give you a few ideas and then you can come back and see my slow cooker meals very soon thank you for watching guys and i will see you later bye